Hello everyone, welcome back. And this will be your general weekly reading for the sign of Sagittarius for the week of September 11th through the 17th of 2023. And I would also like to give a very special thank you to all of those who have been subscribing to my channel and giving it thumbs up as well as leaving comments. Thank you very much for that because now it has given me the opportunity to be monetized. So I hope to see you all stay with my channel and continue. All right, we're starting out with the five of rods. So determination. Perhaps for some of you, you're standing up for something that you believe in this week. Maybe somebody's giving you a little bit of guff over, you know, fewer your decisions going forward. Or this could be you uh, feeling that there's some sort of competition going on. And this could be in your job or in your life as it is. And you know, sometimes that happens, but it also helps you grow and, you know, realize what you want to have in your life. So you're okay with, you know, moving up the ladder and you'll achieve whatever it is that you're trying to do, you know, because you're very likable and people want to help you. And the Page of Swords. Yeah, there's a storm warning, some sort of disagreement, a blowout. You know, and this can be in a friendship, a relationship, jobs in some cases. You know, maybe you just said something or whatever and you're you're watching how you're saying things. You're really thinking about what it is you want to say. You're not just, you know, blurting things out. You're trying to make sure that you are doing it with the right note, if that's even possible sometimes. And the Four of Swords. So there you are. You're definitely, you know, taking a break from something. Maybe you're helping somebody out in some cases for some of you. You know, maybe somebody had fallen on a little bit of hard times or feeling a little bit ill or run down and you decided that, you know, I'll go give them a hand just to help them out a bit. So you could be doing that for sure with some people in your life. Or this could be you yourself. Maybe you've just run yourself ragged and now it's trying to catch up with you so do take care of yourself and the lover is there a new career in the future for you you know something that speaks passionate to your heart or is this um, a new relationship coming in for some of you could be that on the table on offer as well and for others again this could be a partnership that you're already in and you want to take it to the next level so maybe you're getting engaged, um, purchasing something together, uh, doing a prenup for some of you, moving in together, you know, taking a lease on a home together. There's many possibilities of this togetherness, but you're, you're happy about doing it. You're really, truly taking charge of this and you want this partnership to work. So you're trying to make sure that before you do any moving in, signing papers, getting married, that it is the right person for you. And the Knight of Wands. Yeah, so there's a vacation in the future for yourself. And nothing, you know, over spectacular or going very far. This could be by motorcycle, SUV, you know, um, taking a train somewhere or a plane. Just a short trip, you know, but you're going to be happy that you've done it. You know, when you decide to go ahead and just do something for yourself. But you're also realizing that, you know, you perhaps maybe in your past you've done some, you know, um, a few things that were not safe. So you're really thinking about, you know, I don't want to get myself injured or get myself into any kind of trouble. So you're really, you know, on this trip that you're going to take, you're going to question your actions before you do something and the queen of pentacles so you're looking for good bargains and you want to open some new bank accounts making sure that there's some money you know squirreled away for yourself you can see a light at the end of the tunnel of what you want to do what you want to have and you're not going to settle for anything less because you're realizing you're, you're very savvy business wise you know and no matter what you're the only one who can take charge of this and make it happen. So you're realizing that the longer I procrastinate about doing this, 
the only one that's going to hurt is yourself. So you're realizing to put that money away, save for that rainy day, think twice before you buy something, all those good things. And the six of pentacles. So you want to help somebody out, including yourself. You give good advice. And this is the week you're not only giving good advice, you're learning to take your own advice. You know, you're you're very good at learning lessons and you've learned a lot, you know, good or bad. And you've realized that you can pass this knowledge on to somebody. And when you don't think that you have anything to offer anybody, think again, because you have a lot to offer somebody. And the Page of Cups. So there could be new romance in the air for some of you. You know, somebody's going to offer you that opening. You know, they've you sparked a, an interest in their eye or you theirs. And you're just sort of, it's like puppy love. You know, you're not quite sure if you want to do this, if it's the right person. So you're keeping it very low key at this time you're not really pushing it you're interested but you're still not pushing it and the eight of pentacles so there you are diligently working away for many of you you're taking um a course of some sort something to better yourself maybe you've decided that you've gone back to school or you've had an opportunity and a job that you're at to move up the corporate ladder, but you have to have certain documentation. So you're you're looking into doing that for yourself. You're trying to make your future more solid. So, you know, the, and when you do this, this is like beginner's luck. It, it's going to be handed to you. It's not that, you know, it's going to be easy. It's just that you have such ideas and people enjoy listening to you. And they're willing to give you the knowledge and help you out, you know, and put you on the right path. And you just suck it in like a sponge. So you're on a very moving up the ladder week this time. And the Queen of Swords. Yeah, you are definitely, you know, helping yourself. You're feeling more independent. You're using your verbal skills very diligently. You know, you're studying things, you're telling the truth, you're facing facts about your life that maybe you've put off for quite some time. You know, you just sort of didn't really want to think about it or deal with it, that sort of thing. But you're now telling yourself the right answers. You know, you've gotten that aha moment in your life, you know, and you're going to keep this one, this one path that you've chosen now. And you're not going to divvy from it because you want things to go more smoothly in your life. And the Five of Cups. So most definitely you're, you know, spending a little bit of time mourning over what has gone that you can't get back. But it has, again, like I said, taught you a lot. And it's put you on the path for yourself now. Now there's two cups still on offer behind you. You're going to turn around once you realize that, you, you know, Yes, I have to let that go. It's okay. And I can move on and do better. And you're going to go over that bridge and go to that new beginning in your life. And you're going to be very happy when you get there because it's going to turn out to be all that you anticipated it would be. And the four rods. So there you are. Solid foundation, solid ground, understanding where you came from, what you want to have in your life not settling for anything to do with second best. You know, you've realized that you want things to go forward. You want happy times. Your relationships are, you know, going along really well. Your, you know, your accomplishments are more understanding. You're, you're just rewarding yourself along the way too. You're realizing that, you know, you have to have some sort of enjoyments in your life. You can't always just be saving for that rainy day. So this is the week that you're realizing that it's okay to make myself happy. And the nine of rods. So there you are. You are definitely gone through the school of hard knocks. You know, you've stood up where you had to stand up for yourself. You've accepted only what you're going to accept. You know, and you've learned to, you know, 
it's okay. You know, you question yourself, you're understanding where you're coming from, you're knowing what you want to do and where you're going to go. And you're no longer afraid to face your past. In fact, it was painful memories for some of you, but you've also realized that you can keep moving ahead no matter what. And that's what you're doing. All right, I am going to shuffle and deal you an angel oracle cards. But your cards are positive for moving forward to succeeding. You know, new jobs, better pay. In some cases, new relationships. When you take excellent care of yourself, everybody benefits. Give yourself a relaxing treat tonight, such as a massage, a sea salt bath, or pedicure. All right. And on that note, I will say goodbye for now. And I will talk to you again next week. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And bye for now.